In 2007, the WPBSA Grassroots Development Project developed a concept to engage young people into snooker, using music as a way of making the game more attractive. The uptake was encouraging and led to the opportunity to teach English and maths to disadvantaged and disengaged young people within local communities. The result was Functional Snooker, a game designed to promote the game of snooker within schools in order to increase participation in the sport and increase literacy and numeracy levels. The project was rolled out at the Q-Zone in the 2012 World Championship and has enjoyed phenomenal success over the past 12 months. In goes the 12 ball. In goes the 12 ball. The Q-Zone experience has now been taken into schools and the work done by Chris Lovell and his team was recognised by Ofsted as good practice in teaching English and Maths through sport and received a Grade 1 outstanding rating. Well, it's been a remarkable 12 months for everybody. We, we took functional skills uh, into the youth service with the Young People Service. Uh, we've taken it into school. We've took it into North Lights Training Group and really developed it to the point where we've got 1,200 young people, 16 to 19, every year learning English and maths by snooker and functional snooker. In July, Your Majesty's Inspector at Ofsted came and did a complete inspection across the whole company. And within Foundation Learning, they deemed that the use of sport to support English and maths uh, was outstanding. Accrington Academy and North Lakes Training Group became the first to participate in the WPBSA Community World Snooker Coaching Project. Over a 10-week course, participants receive Level 1 Community Scholarships to enable them to train as coaches. This will ultimately give the Q-Zone a team of junior leaders, which enables pupils to earn a qualification through the BTEC Sport Unit Coaching. We're on a two-day course where we're taught children how to read, how to play the game, we did one-to-one coaching, so that's our own tournament, and invite the children at school to come down and play the tournament. It's a fun two-day thing, uh, as much practice as we can get into it. Uh, just make the kids have two days of fun, and, um, so it doesn't feel like they're just learning. So it's a, a very practical base. Three main focuses of the project for us in the early days were literacy and uh, numeracy, and, and we've seen massive improvements in the, in the data and the attainment of our children. Uh, we now do a paired reading scheme with the children now, uh, and again we've seen, we've seen improvements both in the, uh, the quality of uh, learning and, and reading that's going on, but also the, the skills of our BTEC students. Uh, they've now done a level one qualification and a credited qualification. So BTEC is a, a, it's a signature vocational qualification in schools and colleges basically, so for kids who are at um, GCSE age they will study GCSEs but also they have the option to study BTECs which is a, a vocational qualification and work related and as they get older there's a, a BTEC equivalent to A level. So for those who, who do BTECs they will be uh, more employable so if they want to leave school and move straight into employment it's, it gives them a real edge so it's a route through to a profession really in sport. While the 2013 World Championship graced the Crucible Theatre, Q-Zone Into Schools visited Sheffield Park Academy to introduce the initiative to local school children. The opportunity um, to get involved in the functional snooker was discussed and we thought it was a, a very, very good idea and something that we could use to help our students um, to develop their literacy and numeracy skills. Well, looking at the kids today, they've had so much fun, they're enjoying it, because I don't think they were that interested in snooker because it's not something that appeals to kids. But since it's got an element of fun to it because it's functional snooker and they've all got different numbers on and stuff, I think it's just, I think it's attracted them quite a lot. I don't think they realise that they are actually learning stuff and they are actually adding it up because they're too busy like, oh, I got that score, and they don't think about like adding it up. A key objective of the Q-Zone Into Schools project is to increase school children's participation in snooker by 10,000 over the next 12 months. As well as being an important educational tool, it is hoped the project will encourage a new generation to take up the game in large numbers by putting an emphasis on having fun. Q-Zone Into Schools, is, it's been backed by the WPBSA and we've launched it in 12 schools uh, right across the UK. Uh, we've set ourselves an ambitious target of 10,000. 
but we, you know, we're pretty confident that we can achieve that because you know, schools have developed themselves in the last 10 years. You know, we're quite confident that young people will engage in snooker and you know, they'll see it in a different light. It's, it's a long time since it was a small full snooker club back in the 1970s where it was great. You know, but things have moved on. The internet's here, Xbox is here, different clubs are here, different challenges, but snooker's still here and snooker's still got a place to play you know, in many young people's lives. Gone are the days of the Smoky Hall. Um, you know, we know now that we, we now need to take our sport to, to the youth of today and to engage you know, here at the Sheffield Park Academy has given us that opportunity really to, to get young people on a snooker table having fun, but not only just, just, just young people having fun, they are actually learning as well at the same time. I mean, if we look at the way that, that uh, you know, you ask any snooker player, his mental arithmetic is terrific, you know, and, and it's one thing that we can engage here is, is certainly in arithmetic. The success of functional snooker in the UK prompted the WPBSA to introduce it into another hugely important market for the sport, China. Yes, I mean, interestingly enough, the WPBSA is actually engaged with 87 countries worldwide now. We, we, you know, we believe we're the fastest growing sport in the world. We, we are, we are, we've seen huge growth, uh, particularly in the, in the Far East as well. And we've just returned actually from opening, opening a uh, World Snooker Academy in Beijing itself. As a world governing body, we see this as a global programme. This, this initiative in the UK is just the start.